Right now at 5, a judge will decide if a man accused of murder will get a second trial. Now, Dennis Brantner already had one trial in the murder of Barrett Beck. But the jury was dismissed after it could not reach a verdict. Casey Geraldo joins us live in Fond du Lac with an explanation. George and Carol, attorneys argued today whether or not Judge Gary Sharp is unbiased enough to stay on this case. Prosecutors wanted him to remove himself. He says he is entitled to his opinions, but shared them too soon. It's a case that's troubled many over more than 25 years. This is an extraordinary case. Um under extraordinary circumstances. Barrett Beck went missing in 1990 on her way home from a computer class in Appleton. Her van was found two days later in Fond du Lac, her body a month later in Waupun. In 2014, her cold case was reopened and new DNA testing found matches to truck driver Dennis Brantner in Beck's van. After presiding over Brantner's trial, Judge Gary Sharp has decided he won't continue on the case. Court will recuse itself. Sharp admitted to making comments to jurors in response to a difficult trial. There were at least two jurors weeping. Um, it was apparent that uh, the deliberations had been an enormous struggle. The judge confirmed he shared his belief in a reasonable doubt that Brantner killed Beck to jurors and an employee in the clerk of court's office. There is certainly an appearance of the court being unable to be impartial in this matter. Brantner's attorney argued the judge made the comments without showing a decisive bias. Private conversation in a jury room with jurors on the case. It's an informal water cooler type discussion in the office building. Still, Sharp decided his opinions came at the wrong time. Those comments were premature. Leaving the future of the case to a different judge. At six, what this means for the future of the Barrett Beck murder case, the new judge will have big decisions to make. Live in Fond du Lac, Casey Geraldo, today's TMJ4. Yeah, not an easy position. Thank you very much, Casey.